Honourable Madam Chair, dear honourable members of the Parliament, first of all, I would like to congratulate the European Parliament for having uh, organised in these uh, challenging COVID-19 times a successful public hearing on the European Citizens' Initiative Minority Safe Pack early in October. This has allowed the organisers uh, to present the initiative and the different members to express their views. Today's plenary debate provides another opportunity to listen carefully to the contributions and interventions from various members. This will further deepen our joint understanding of the different political considerations and support for the various uh, proposals covered by these initiatives. Today's uh, plenary debate on this initiative confirms that the European uh, Citizens' Initiative instrument offers a unique tool for citizens to engage in direct participatory democracy. Maybe even more important, uh, it demonstrates that it's an agenda-setting tool for policy shaping at union level. And the Minority Safe Pack Initiative is not the last initiative to have uh, successfully collected the required one million signatures and to have been submitted to the Commission for examination. In October, the Commission received a sixth successful initiative called And the Cage Age. At this point in time, I am not able to go into the details of the Commission reply to the organizers of the Minority Safe Pack Initiative. Today, we will listen to you and I carefully reflect on the resolution once adopted. The exchange of views today will inspire the ongoing reflection process of the Commission. We will present our general conclusions as well as the action that we intend to take in a communication plan for January next year. In that respect, I wish a further fruitful discussion.